Barbie <laughs> and I'm looking for my kid. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the bachelorette again. Today is week three, week three of the bachelorette. We have 14 guys left and don't want to want to put all the drama behind so the guys are in the house and they are talking about the drama that happened last week. Aaron S.C., young dude with a toxic trait. He's, he's a big dude but he's a young dude with very toxic traits. Uh, it's talking about braiding. So, Charity came, she apologized for ending the barbecue party early. I want to apologize for ending the barbecue early. Remember the last time they had a barbecue party? The barbecue party ended early and they went already to the whole ceremony because of the drama between um, Braden and Adrian. And she tried to trick them. She said, uh, I can't do this anymore. Like they were all looking at her. But she kind of paused a little bit and then she said, I can't do this anymore here. So like, they are going to San Diego for the next like bachelor thing. So it's not in the mansion anymore. But they're still in California. They're just moving like to a different, uh, to a different area. So Brayden will be driving in star in the helicopter with charity. Brayden got a one-on-one, -on -one, so him and Charity are going to the helicopter where the rest of the guy have to drive in, in the bus. I don't know how many hours it takes. I think it's, California is very big. I think probably four or five hours. I don't know. Because Xavier was needed the whole time. Like, we will see toward the end. He gave the scarf to Charity. So that was the scarf he started needed in the bus. And Brayden and Charity, they are matching their way. A pink outfit, like he with a denim. And I don't know if he's taking charity or something like that. Charity took literally what Brayden said last week about him considering leaving. I don't know if it's that. That's why she gave me the one on one. I have no idea. But Brayden got a one on one. Last week, to hear from Brayden that he considered leaving, like that does frighten me. Charity's want to have an important conversation with Brayden. That's what she said. She really liked Brayden. Finally, she said that she really liked, liked Brayden. We all saw that she really liked Brayden. Otherwise, why will he be still here? I have no idea. So they hide in the helicopter. They saw like a dolphin. They saw a lot of places. They saw the mansion. They saw the bus. They, in the bus, A and B. Yes, A and S fall asleep. All the girls fall asleep. Zavi was needed, I guess. See. Um, John make a video, so he's talking about what the guy are doing for the one on one. Charity and Brayden are heading to like the a stadium, I guess it's Peck, Petco Park, something like that. And they got a, a jersey with a name on it in the back. Jerseys, oh my goodness, and it has her names on it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Wait, this is great. Brayden hit Charity with the ball, they were playing baseball. It actually incident that like, it was an accident he hit him with the ball he was so sorry about that uh i was like i don't really like Brayden for charity they have some fun in asia but we we're talking about serious business like marriage or like charity i don't know about this guy i don't know about Brayden. so he, they kind of have some fun moments they're like children enjoying the time very strongly about him was that good that was, that good. was good i can't help you with the kid oh, oh, no. that did not work <laughs> I like it, they but still don't know about Brayden. On the other side, the guy finally arrived in the hotel, like it's next to the ocean, ocean side, California. I think the hotel is named Seabird Hotel, something like that. The one on one country, Brayden say that he's definitely caution on her. It is hard to not see her the whole time. So he was talking about his connection with Charity. Like it's hard to see her leaving with other guys. And Charity explained to him that it's not, this is how things work, like we are in this process, like to get to know each other, blah, 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 blah. So she eventually get, have to get to know other guys, so he, he's not the only guy there. So we're then talking about leaving, uh, like now he was just talking about the conversation they had before about him leaving. We go back to the hotel, the date card I have, there's a knock at the door. It would be the group date, and on the group date we have Joey. Joey. A and B. A and B. Uh, Michael. Michael. Uh, James. James. Caleb. Aaron S. Aaron S. Sean. Sean. Xavier. Xavier. Tanner. Tanner. Adrian. Adrian and John.
but the only name that was not in the data were work and they were all surprised because apparently work is a very quiet guy he doesn't talk much the data said can you feel the love tonight can is spelled like k-e-n like can body can can you feel the love tonight charity Ken is spelled K-E-N. And while we got the one on one, John is a little bit pity. <laughs> you can see John face in this episode. It's like he wasn't happy about that. <laughs> um, John say he uh, he like Wally, but Wally is a little bit quiet. I love Warwick as a person, but he's so quiet. <laughs> Okay, so we have the night portion of the day. They spent the whole day in that street. So all the day they spent was just there. They didn't go anywhere else. They didn't go to like a fancy hotel for like the dinner portion. Charity want to understand what's going on with Brayden, you know, in the night portion. You're always supposed to open up, blah, 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 just stay in the bachelor. She brought back the question about him wanting to leave. And she wanted to know more about that. Brayden said, his issue, his past relationship, like he was in love, blah, blah, blah. And there is girlfriend, ex-girlfriend cheating on him. It affected him. Like this post, I've seen people leaving with charity. When I see you walk out that door with other guys, it hurts. I sit there and I get in my head and I, I kind of spiral. Spending more time with charity, kind of like bring back those memories to him. Coming into the situation, it's hard because I'm I'm walking back into that trauma. And charity asks, is it okay for you to continue in this process? Because it's just going to be like that. Do you think that you're like capable of being able to like maintain like the rest of all of it? He says he's gonna try, so he hold on the best football that let's take it day by day. So that's why he decided to so take it day by day with charity. Charity gave him the holes, they got firewall, but the firewall was on the screen. Is it like a limited budget? I don't know. So the next day we have the group date that we talk about. Can you feel the can you feel the love tonight? On the group day, so Charity is wearing pink, all pink. She, she said, she said, I did it. She said, I'm a Barbie. I'm looking for my Ken. I am Barbie, and I'm looking for my Ken. <laughs> so we're going to have two hosts on this group day. It's going to be Jojo and Jordan. We know Jojo, she used to be the bachelorette. After Ben season, like she was a bachelorette. Like it's been a long time, maybe six or seven years ago. Or maybe Maybe I went too far. Hi, Jordan and Marina. They're going to be hosting the date. And we have who? Uh, I'm so sorry. I forgot his name. We do have a star from the new Barbie movie. What's up, everyone? Simu Liu here from the new Barbie movie. But I watched him first at King Convenience Store. Like, Canadian, uh, Korean drama. Like, King Convenience Store after he was, like, in the Marvel movie. And uh, he's so big right now. They say Simu. I don't know if I pronounced the name well, so he'll have a video um, um, talking about the Barbie movie. So that's right. They promote the Barbie movie. We are, we are in July, so the movie will be out like in about a few, maybe one week. Well, today we are like on the 10 or 11. Oh gosh, I can't keep up with time. We are on the, July 11, but as I post this, it will be like 15 or something. So the movie will be out like in 10 days. By the time I post this, maybe six days or something like that. Okay, so he promoted the movie. And so what they have to do on this group day, they have to write a song. Write a love song for Barbie. Ken has to write a love song for Barbie. Ken writes a love song for Barbie. So that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Barbie is here. And in the movie, there's a lot of Ken. It's kind of the same concept in Bachelor because like, the bachelorette there's a lot of soda so they have to vine for the love of the bachelor they're all gonna dress up like in a movie and they're gonna have a song girl just wanna have fun so these will be written to the tune of a song that we all know and love <laughs> girls just wanna have fun <laughs> so then they live on that song so the men choose the off michael got so excited about it for coat he was so happy to wear his coat <laughs> Bad boy cancer. I'm ready. Sean said that he looked like Ken and Sean does look like Ken. Ryan Gosling is the one who played Ken in the movie. Sean had the blonde hair, he wore the dinner, up and down dinner. He looked he does, just looked like Ken. It is perfect for me because I look like a Ken doll. Like Ryan Gosling is Ken and you couldn't cast a better Ken unless you were casting me. Xavier and 
that the those week that they gave them i was like yeah that's so funny i was like i don't even know and the office the love angel had the baby with the oh like he wear that type of office so we have like and the bachelor baby beach concert so they're gonna have that concert it's a lot of pink you know so they start singing daughter style he's wearing that astronaut office <laughs> and what kind of astronaut office is that there's not even air tank and stuff like that where is your oxygen tank how are you in space with no oxygen tank uh, they are all so bad at singing Charity, you have to pick the right one. So, girls, send these other guys home. That's all I want. <laughs> but we have a surprise. Gotta be. We can't actually sing. The one who says he look good with cobble. He make the cobble hand look good. He's say charity. I can see you. Finally, we finished everything with Sean. Um, Sean can sing, but he have a great stage presence. Like he did what the other guy didn't took the initiative to do. He actually is he made this the audience like clap more, and he went there to a charity and then share a kiss. That so thanks to his stage, I can't be could I win if it was just a single concert, but it wasn't a single concert. This is the bachelor. Right? You have to know how to use your time well. So with all his like stage present and what he was able to do, he win the the best the best contest like singing contest and blah blah blah. So he, had, he got to spend more time with charity. But I'm glad they didn't do it. They didn't do the thing that they did last week with Joey did that they sent everybody else home. I'm glad that he have his time with charity, but we still have the nice portion of the day with the rest of the men. Now in the night portion where we have the group setting, Sean didn't help himself either. He arrived. The other men are all so frustrated. The mood was so damn, but they, I don't even understand those guys. They were so moody in this episode. And um, Sean arrived, not knowing, like he not reading the temperature of the home. He start to say, oh, just want to have fun. <laughs> so they are all so pissed at him. Mansion night, I made a putt that really changed my life. Especially NS, uh, he doesn't like Sean and NS. He asked Sean, Were you the only child? I didn't like the way they were acting yet. I said, like, I didn't like the vibe yet. It's a group decision, bro, that you can no longer come to the couch. So I don't know where you're gonna go. I, didn't like, I know that they were all mad and stuff like that, but still. So Sean took the opportunity to speak more to Charity. They can be mad if they want to be mad. He, it's not like he has a host and he went to speak to charity. He, I, I guess he got more time with charity, but he came, he took more time with her, but he didn't get a host. I don't know why everybody is so pissed at him. I don't get those people. So, especially RS. RS was very pissed this episode. Nobody even. <laughs> He was so pissed this episode. So Charity came into the home. She made a speech and she finished a conversation. That's when Sean took her again to speak with her. Like the second time that I was talking, beside the time that he had with her after the day portion of the day. So, and when Sean came back, Sean and, and James were arguing. James was not happy about that. What how can you get another time with charity? I might not even get it get a time with charity. I might be saying oh I might not get any moment tonight. I hope I do. I truly hope you guys get your moment. Then I'm going home, man. Like if that's if that's what you want, that's fine, man. But Sean say, I will feel bad for you if you want end up going home without having time with charity. If if you do go home without time, I will feel bad about that, truthfully. And then charity having one on one time with her sooner. Or she have she have a one-on-one -on -one time. I think she have a one-on-one -on -one time with Michael. Michael talking about his family. She spent time with dinner. Charity talk about how she wanted to be a teacher, something like that. She spent time with daughter. She took daughter into her home. She showed daughter her room. Daughter tried to be comfortable and say, "Ah, oh, we are in your home." Like it was still trying to get comfortable. But she spent a lot of time making daughter feel good. She's kind of leading the, I don't know, she's leading the conversation, stuff like that, because daughter is still trying to be comfortable. And yeah, she really seems to like daughter, and they have a real connection. 
they do have a real connection. And Dalton says a lot of great things about Charity here. S seeing you interact, mm. you're someone that I can learn from. You are such a competent person, mm -hmm. and that's so rare. Yeah, Charity say it's not something that people usually tell her, so she was very happy about that and the kids. But I said, what about Safi? What about Joey? They got no time yet. I don't know if they just didn't show or they got no time. But it's not time for the group date holes and Dalton got the group date holes. <laughs> Sean didn't get the holes. Okay, the next day, Warwick get ready for his one on one and Aaron S again. Aaron S this episode talk a lot. Aaron S again say, they're all talking about Warwick, like about Warwick being a mysterious guy. Warwick, he's definitely been the most quiet of the group. None of us really know anything about him. He's always very quiet. Warwick is just, he's a quiet guy. Of all the guys still here, he was the last person I would expect to have gotten a one on one. So while he's getting ready for the, his day, they show the day portion and then the night portion. I don't know if it was 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, you know, sometimes 7 o'clock during the summer. I don't know about April. It's already night time. Do a turn. Do a turn for me. Oh, <laughs> Hi, man. You look so good. I'm very intrigued by him. But the time changed during April, so it's already night time. Charity, she's like all about the face, so she doesn't know where it went. I, just, I don't think they spend that much time together, but she said, he's looking good. She, so, uh, Charity says she's physically attracted to him, she wanted to learn more about him. So they went to like a park, I think it's Delmar Park. We get this park all to ourselves. It's Wait, just for real? dead serious. It's just us. So... They spend time together, they eat ice cream, like, I don't know. At the beginning it was kind of fun, but I don't know why shifted. that. It's just because, I think because Warwick doesn't communicate, or I think he's still trying to get comfortable to, into this environment. I don't know what happened. He really didn't talk so sh It was such an awkward moment, the vibe was so bad. If I'm day, I'm gonna be but yeah, I mean, so why is so awkward? So you know when the moment is so awkward and one person have to keep asking the question. So Charity found herself in the in this type of situation that she had to ask a lot of questions to worry because like it didn't talk much. And your past like relationships. Yeah. How do you feel like you show up like best in relationships? Like when you're dating, attribute about yourself. Oh yeah. Well, um. Warwick, like he, in his ATM conversation, say, "I miss my back, make me tired." I think right now, I think we definitely are connecting, but amusement parks make me tired. <laughs> Warwick is such a god there. Oh my god, he was so tired. He don't talk either. So he to ask about his two his relationship, his past relationship. It's about I got two girlfriends or so his past girlfriend. Like, and then he doesn't explain what happened. So he said it just ended. It just ended. It didn't work out. But he doesn't go into detail. It was It just like didn't work out for whatever reason. He's trying to say, oh you you pretty but I cannot just go with that. So, <laughs> so it didn't work out. Uh, and why went home? Don't feel so bad for why you going home like people crying. No, Mr. Why is about to fall asleep. He is so tired. The producer are talking to him. He just fell asleep in the car. So he got this moment on the bathroom. And it's, the envelope is too much for him. He need to rest. <laughs> why he has and maybe come why you you beautiful face you need to come to the beach <laughs> the picture is quite tense oh my goodness try to say she cannot just <laughs> keep going with just a beautiful face she even talked to me i can't give it a voice tonight so when they have the conversation i probably said why we say it's okay don't worry he left then that way when he was in the car and the police was talking to him he fell asleep he was just so tired. So the next day, Brayden talk about his dream. Premonition. So he talk about that he had a dream that Charity took the horse for him. I had my rose on and then she calls me up and she's like, Brayden. And like she comes, I come up and she takes the rose off me bro, and she gives it to someone else. Very accurate. Kind of accurate. I'm like, oh, uh, uh, something like that might happen. So... And um, Brayden had a conversation. I don't know if we were Airbnb and other guys. You know, guys always talk. 
Your mother will get you in trouble. So he said, he gave Marshall getting engaged to charity after spending time with 20 other guy. Yeah, that's why he said. He did say that. You see, maybe date after this, not an engagement and stuff like that. Getting engaged after just dating with 20 other dudes. I mean, I know I for sure could date her after this experience. LMB listened to that conversation. I don't know if you were talking directly to LMB, but LMB listened to that conversation. So he said he's going to talk to Charity about that. In the night portion, Charity came with a beautiful dress. She made her space, like, you know, the bachelor's suite. And then she have time with some of her suitors. You know, she spent time with Joey. Uh, I said, finally, Joey got some time in this damn episode. Finally, I can see Joey. So uh, she only brought, brought a few letters, like a letter from his great, late grandfather that he kept some of the letters he showed to Charity, you know, because family is very important to him. His family is the term of this season. I just gotta keep putting myself out there because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to really know if Charity's the right person for me. So, um, Joey said that. Uh, Shout to say, oh, you're so good with eyes contact. You always say, say that it's easy. Kiss. The connection is this strong. I'm happy. I don't know. It's like, I feel like there's just something. Like, I look yeah. at you, you look at me. Like so, Shout and Xavier got a one on one time. This is where she said, Xavier. I said Xavier in French. I don't know in English. I said Xavier, but I'm, I'm French. French is my first language. So, I said Xavier. Xavier gave the scarf that he needed to Charity. Like, we saw him doing that in the bus when the other guy was sleeping. Like, good job, Xavier. And then the kids, so Shakti have a one on one time with Bede. Um, Bede was dangly earring again. I wear some dangly earring, but not as big as the Bede one. They, they have a good moment, you know, because the drama haven't started yet. Not at least yet. Uh, and the AIS are talking about when they're having a conversation. Why does AIS is always in the drama? AIS will. AJ, AJ, every AMB, or the AJ, they are, they are making a plan to send Brayden home. I'm not saying that because I'm not Brayden on Team Brayden. We're going to talk about that more. So I'm just saying that they are talking about that right here. And AMB decided to talk to Charity. Like AMB didn't learn about the Adrian situation last week about taking the time for men. He just decided to go tell Charity about. Wait, I know that is something that you have to tell Charity, but oh my goodness, the timing. So, Brady is not ready. He say, I'm not doing that because I want to advance my position. I really like you, but I want you to know Brady is not ready for an engagement. Uh, he said he can imagine being yourself with someone who's dating like 20 plus men. So, he's talking about that. And Charity said she didn't like that conversation. So, and then Brady. After AMB, the good thing that AMB did, he went to talk to <laughs> Brady after the, that to let Brady know that he already told Charity what was about to happen. Oh, they got to an argument. I'm like, this is just the preview of what's going to happen next week. I already know. We saw that in the trailer so many times. So this, they gave us just the preview and we'll see more next week. There was so many back and forth. I didn't know what to say. All I want to know, who team are you on? Are you team Brayden or are you team AMB? I told you last week, I am team Joey. Like, I would keep that statement, send them both home. Even Zadie wasn't happy about it. I understand, but really, do you have to do that, man? Some of the guys are not going to have time with charity. I love you, man. But bringing that up to charity, I think that's, that's some snake because now all of us are affected who haven't spoken to her. They're gonna be saying, you know when there's a drama like that, they it will be trouble why me for her. She's not gonna continue half time with other guys because she'll have to think about that. And she already said in this episode that she really liked Brayden. So it's difficult for her to hear all those red flags about Brayden. He does have those red flags. <laughs> I didn't like that about Brayden. He's way too cocky. And also, MB, what he did, I was like, I don't know. Sometimes I want to say let the lead find out about the person, but what if the lead doesn't find out? It's so complicated, even for me. But I was like, oh, I can't deal with those two guys. Send them both home. We want the homies. We want the homies. I think I'm already done with the drama. And when they say in this ATM conversation, it needs to be more like, uh, <laughs> like with me. We know that statement. That guy recently in trouble. I feel like I need to be like Will Smith right now and like, be like keep my name out your... Ow, like he talked 
too much in a team conversation. I'm like, I'm not team Brennan. What MMP say about Brennan is true. What MMP say about Brennan, I hope it again is true. Brennan keeps saying stuff about charity. When he get close to charity, he says something else, how he sugar coated the conversation that he has. It's like, I can imagine being engaged to her. And then when he spent time with charity, oh, oh, it's a little bit difficult. We're taking day by day. But I will get there. My relationship in the past touched me so much. But I will get there. So it's always a different conversation. Like it always makes it a little bit easy to charity. In her mind, she has no other. She doesn't know what's going on behind closed door. She have to like I trust myself. Like when I spent time with brother or so I trust other men. But charity, so many people already told me. <laughs> If you get two people keep telling you the same thing, that means you have to wash out for that. You gotta wash out. It's not Adrian already tell you. Aaron be already tell you about breathing. Another person tell you three times, I say, girl, don't keep that guy in the house. Or she need to see it for herself to decide. So, like I say, what it, uh, Aaron be said about breathing is true. But the timing or everything. I feel bad for the other guy who didn't get to spend time with charity. And even B, it's like, for I feel like it wasn't necessary for him to say that. Brayden said something that I don't, I can imagine be angry with Brayden, but I have to agree on with Brayden on this one. He said that Aaron B feels insecure. Dude, you're, you're that insecure about the fact that you see me forming a connection with this. And that's why he, he, he said that. And I don't feel like I need to do this to you know, increase my chances with you, I know her chances. I don't even know why he feels insecure with, in his position. He got a one-on-one -on -one with Charity. Brother also have a one-on-one -on -one with Charity. Charity did, does like A and B also, but I feel like it wasn't necessary for him to do that. With Adrian, maybe it was necessary, like with the connection and stuff, but A and B, I was surprised that he got himself into the drama. Like, you got yourself into the drama, you win. You're gonna win your own connection with Shanti because when she be saw you, she was saying like, ah, she would think about breathing and stuff like that. So I feel like it was kind of unnecessary for RMB to do this, but because she trusts RMB, she will take it a little bit more serious. You see, I keep going back and forth. I just see the time it wasn't like the best to do this right now. Even Xavier kind of agree with me. See, right now is not the best time to bring it to charity because like, it's the cop the bodies in a few hours some people are going to be sent home james and Taylor conversation i wanted to talk about that they were just talking in the background like, something like that james said oh she's she's going to take the host back she's going to take because charity went to talk to brayden she was talking about the conversation and the conversation they're like looking at the match and say what's going to happen and james said She's definitely gonna take the horse back because it's something that already happened in the show. I will tell you that they get taken off. They have been before. Then I say, I'm pretty sure he's gonna talk his way out of it. He's gonna talk his way out of this because that's what he does. Then I know what's going on, Brady. It's because he's talked too much. He's so good at taking himself out of stuff, out of the argument, stuff like that. And again, spoil it. He did it. Spoil it. The horse wasn't taken away. Spoil it. Spoil it. <laughs> she does like Brayden. And that's making it even more interesting and dramatic. Charity says she likes Brayden, so it's difficult for her. So you have that conversation with Brayden back and forth. Brayden explaining what happened. And just like, oh, I feel like, I think this is something I say, oh, I feel like the engagement is something very difficult, something that you have to take your time. Like, like we decided during our one-on-one, -on -one, I'm taking day by day, you know. <laughs> and Jesse came after. Charity was so frustrated out of that conversation. Jesse came. He so that he said, I'm sorry, I came a little bit early. <laughs> I'm sorry, I came a little bit early. I'm supposed to. But the cup the party is so He didn't say the cup the party. I'm just, I just say it because that's where it will lead into. So cup the party is cancer, guys. See you in the whole ceremony, okay. I wouldn't got the horse, daughter had the horse, what we can fortunately didn't get the horse because he got the same one. In this one one. I can't give you the rose. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's okay. So if we remove Warwick, so we have 13 men left. Two of them got the horse, right? Eight men to receive the horse, three people will go home. Okay. 
R&B got the first horse and Caleb second horse, Xavier third horse, Joey have the fourth horse, Michael the fifth horse, John sixth horse, Sean seven, and finally the last person who got the horse is Taylor. That means R.S. R.S. This episode was so busy. R.S. went home. James went home. I feel bad for James. I was a little bit sad when James came home. I said, James, say hi to your mom. Uh, Adrian got the horse. Uh, got sent home. Oh, I say. So, R.S., James, and Adrian got sent home. So, eight people got the horse, plus two people for the group day and one one. So we have 10 people left in this season. I can't believe how fast charity season is going. And before they, after, before they announced the three people going home, it got a little bit dramatic toward the end. I don't know, like, charity went to think about whether she would take the horse away for Brayden or not. I was like, whether you see the trailer, there's no way. Those people, the passion, the funny thing about the passion, they gave us away a lot of things. They gave the trailer away. We already know that there's that big argument with L and B and, and Brayden that's coming. I'm so happy after the trailer next week. I just know that she was not going to take the horse from him because I remember that part of the trailer. So uh, it's hard for Charity because she likes Brayden. She really likes him. And it's so good for us. It make this TV show. I'm not always happy about that, but it makes the show so much interesting. I'm like, Charity, really? You have to keep this guy? But I'm like, okay, keep him. Make it more interesting for me to talk about the show. But I'm like, why Charity? We need that love. But it's also okay, I need that drama. Anyway, it will be interesting as well. Probably the two of them are going to be sent home. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that big drama. And like I said, 10 people left. And next week they show the trailer, just like I said. A lot of romance. We see more romance for me. And a lot of drama. I'm telling you guys, Tina is a white card to season. I didn't see a lot of time with Tina with Charity, but there's something there. Thank you so much for watching. Let me tell you a crazy secret. I didn't watch this episode live. I wake up at 5 a.m. No, 5, almost 6 o'clock. I watched the episode. I took note and I'm filming the episode. Right now, it's 8 o'clock, 8.23. So I spent two hours watching, taking note, and filming the show. This is how dedicated I am to this show. And to you guys for watching the video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Bye. Oh,